Hi all, welcome to Learn IP. This video is for AWS beginners. In this video, we will learn, what is AWS Cloud Computing? What are AWS Regions and Availability Zones? How many AWS Regions and Availability Zones are there today? And what are AWS Core Services? Let's learn it. So, what is Cloud Computing? Cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. We do not need to buy, own, and maintain physical data centers. We can access technology services, such as computing power, storage and databases on an as-needed basis from cloud providers like Amazon Web Services, Azure, GCP. What is an AWS region? AWS has concept of a region which is a physical location around the world where AWS clusters data centers. Each AWS region consists of multiple, isolated, and physically separated availability zones within a geographic area. What is an AWS availability zone? An availability zone is one or more discrete data centers with redundant power, networking, and connectivity in an AWS region. It gives us the ability to operate production applications and databases that are more highly available, fault-tolerant, and scalable than would be possible from a single data center. Availability zones helps us to protect our systems and data from issues such as power outages, lightning strikes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and more, as we can have replicas and backups at different availability zones. AWS has data centers across 25 regions today and region has multiple availability zones. AWS has total 80 availability zones under 25 regions. Now, let's have a look at AWS Core Services, AWS Identity and Access Management, that help us to set up users and groups and show how to protect your resources with access control policies. AWS Simple Storage Service is a storage for Internet, where we can use to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. AWS Relational Database Service is a web service that makes it easier to set up, operate, and scale a relational database in AWS Cloud. Then we have few services which are part of AWS Serverless Architecture Group. AWS DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance with seamless scalability. AWS Lambda is a compute service that lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. AWS API Gateway is in service for creating, publishing, maintaining, monitoring, and securing REST. HTTP and WebSocket APIs at any scale. AWS Route 53 is a highly available and scalable domain name system web service. AWS CloudFront is a web service that speeds up distribution of your static and dynamic web content, such as HTML, CSS, JS, and image files to your users. AWS CloudWatch monitors your Amazon Web Services resources and the application you run on AWS. And AWS Elastic Load Balancing which allows us to create load balancers and configure load sharing among multiple instances. AWS Elastic Compute Cloud provides scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services. AWS Virtual Private Cloud enables you to launch AWS resources into a virtual network. AWS Cognito provides authentication, authorization, and user management for your web and mobile apps. AWS Notification, Message Queue and Email Services. And AWS Elastic Beanstalk is an easy-to-use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services. So guys, this was some overview of cloud computing and AWS core services. In the next videos we will learn AWS. Please join us in next videos. Thank you.